I teach online, and during break, I came outside and I saw a little duckling on our couch eating granola and drinking water. I am Stephanie, and this is Fidget Story for GeoBeats. My husband found Fidget in a parking lot, abandoned. She was really fatigued, and she didn't look like she was going to make it. He waited around for a while, but there were no other ducks that came by, so he decided to bring her home. I was amazed that he actually brought her home. I've had dogs, but no prior experience taking care of ducks. So I did a lot of research to learn all about ducks and all about her specifically because Muscovies are very unique compared to other ducks. I was up all night with her doing so much research just to understand how to make sure give her the best life possible what we need to do what type of food what she can and can't eat just everything second day she fell asleep in my arms she would follow us around everywhere if i left the room and she couldn't see me for longer than a millisecond she would start chirping and and yelling for my attention <laughs> first few months were, it was quite exhausting. It was like having a newborn. We slept barely, but through that, we bonded a lot. And at that point, it was obvious that she looked to us as her parents, as her flock. We tried to take her outside and just kind of give her that experience, but she definitely did not seem interested in being outside. And in fact, at some point, she would look up at the condo and attempt to try to walk away and go back home. I love you. I call her puppy duck. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Come here. She owns the house for sure. She'll cuddle or sleep at the end of the bed just like a dog. We duck proofed the home. We had a tile floor and we actually purchased foam matting to make sure that she could easily walk around and um, a lot of waterproof blankets. <laughs> She'll hang out with us on the couch and watch TV. She'll be there when we're cooking dinner. So it's just really funny when you look down and you're like, oh, that's a duck. <laughs> the biggest thing we learned is that she has to have water readily available always when she's eating because they don't have an esophagus. So the ability to swallow is not there. She needs the water to help make sure that the food goes down and also having access to grit, which are like basically little pieces of rock to help break down um, the food. You can tell that she's not really a fan of the whole laying eggs experience. Experience. It definitely takes a lot out of her, so she gets a little agitated right before she's gonna lay an egg. She doesn't care at all once I take the egg and take it away. Yeah, she's totally has no real motherly instinct in that regard. I definitely think she thinks she's a human, she's one of us. She's just my girl, she's always there when I'm in meetings or when I'm teaching. I try to be there as much as I can and she enjoys that. It was a bit overwhelming at times, the same as if you know you have a newborn, you just have to do what you have to do to get through and at the other side it's always better.